Hi, Dr. Byron Bucky Phillips, MBA. You're tennis pro, you're a professor, you're a life coach, and you're a business consultant. The topic for this video is, the effective leader is never too tough on self. The best leaders are tolerant and understanding of self and others. Think about it. If you don't tolerate and accept yourself, you're gonna to be too difficult on other people also, and they pick up on it. The best leaders know that they must be self-aware and other-aware and give people a chance to grow and make mistakes. Seneca wrote, quote, philosophy calls for simple living, but not for penance. It's quite possible to be simple without being crude, end quote. The elite leader understands these words and never self-abhors or self-flagellates. Any self-criticism can be destructive, but we can learn how to make it more constructive by reframing our self-criticism. Hanselman and Holliday in the Daily Stoic explained how laying into oneself, unduly depriving oneself, punishing oneself, is all self-flagellation. It's never self-improvement. The Stoics understood and still understand not to be so tough on self. The best leaders learn to hold oneself to a high standard, but not an impossible standard. Then these top leaders will forgive self and forgive others when they occasionally slip up. When your employees see this type of humility of you accepting your own mistakes, It'll influence them and every stakeholder in a more positive manner.